The surf's not quite pumping here at Murphy's and next to the Murphy's campground, but it's a pretty nice spot, Kaz, you brought us to, and I see you've got something called a grab and go bag. What, what are they all about? Thanks, Andrew. Grab and go bag is one, the bag that you need to take with you wherever you go. It's one of those essential items that should be in your car or in a place at home that you can get to quickly and easily. Yeah, because sometimes, uh, well, you know, there's a possibility during a natural hazard emergency that you might have to evacuate. Yeah, absolutely. And also, you know, we can't determine the time when the uh, emergency is going to happen. So you probably, or you might not be at home. How often are you away from your home? So having something that's available uh, wherever you go is, is kind of important. Yeah. Okay, so what are the sorts of things we want to think about putting in one of these grab and go bags? Well, the essential that I always think about uh, is one of those special items uh, called food. Yeah. And an example here is a, a nice little, uh, in this case, a protein bar, specialized protein bar, but it's, it's non-perishable. It's gonna last a little while at least. And yeah. so we can come and get to it. Really good item to have. You also think about safety. A grab and go bag should have some of those basic first aid kits that you need, just in case there's some cuts and grazes first aid kit. Carry one of those on board with you um, and you know with your household emergency plan you should have identified what your family needs. Uh, are there any particular medical needs that your family has? This, this torch looks cool. This is one of the things that I think everyone should have and it's a wind up torch and radio. Okay. Uh, we're going to put it on the spot I suppose we'll give it a quick nudge and see if we can get it going. So the fact that it's wind up means that it can go anywhere and you can just wind it up to give it power and it then has a, a an SOS, it has a radio component and then obviously it has the, the torch component. There's sort of all sorts of things in here. Games. Why do you want to play games? Well, in emergency you're often, or if you have to evacuate, you're taken away from your home, right? Uh, the kids could be running around going crazy. It's really good just to have some fun things that are available to keep them occupied and entertained. So a pack of cards, you could spend hours playing cards. This has got an emergency blanket Keep well. you warm. Um, there's a compass here, which is really, really uh, high tech if you need to use it. It's got a, a whistle as well. And then there's the hazards uh, identification or hazards bag. So you may need to put that up to stop people going in certain areas or carry some things in there. So I guess a lot of this is also going to be yeah like specific to to different people, but but as long as we've got some of those basic items, and of course making sure some water as well. Yeah, we need water to survive. Carry water. It just has to be done. Um, you know this is this is a small pack to get you through a small amount of time. This is not designed to last you for multiple days. It's just that initial grab and go. You'll be able to, it, it should also contain things like uh, your essential contacts uh, details for yourself or your um, your husband, wife, daughter, kids, whatever that may be. And sometimes um, some identification like a copy of a uh, of your driver's license or a passport. Is, whether you want to carry that with you is, is debatable, but at some point you may need to be identifiable. Hey, well thanks for showing us that, Kaz. That's right, Andrew. Um, and also, you always need your high vis. No matter where you go, high vis is the one. Be safe, be seen.